Hey folks, what I want to show you today is the new feature that we just added to Simpleology called Lists. Titled in a very, very deceptively simple way, it's extremely elegant and extremely powerful and it's free to all Simpleology users no matter what level uh, of account access you have. Now we're going to be sending out rollout emails to blocks of 10,000 Simpleology users at a time because internally this represents what we're calling Simpleology 3.7 and it is a significant change to the internal code and we want to make sure that uh, as with everything that we do here we keep the system up and running very very smoothly and that's why we're not going to roll it out to everyone at once so keep your eye out for the upgrade email it'll be a very very simple 20 second process you just uh, you know click the link you log in and we'll start the upgrade process for you right there very very simple and easy to do so what do lists do well it's going to do a lot more than you see today, but what it can do today is actually extremely powerful. I just want to do a little foreshadowing here and let you know that what we're going to be adding on top of lists and trackers over the next coming weeks is going to be rather extraordinary, and it's going to change the way you work in a lot of different uh, fields. So what are lists? Well, as it says here, because almost everything important can be expressed as a list. Now. There are three basic types of lists that this comes with, and as you can see here, the three uh, main functions are shopping lists, how to and plans, checklists, but also as you can see we have a user defined function here so that you can set up a list of any type and any category. So let's take a look at uh, a checklist and a how to plan, and in a moment here we'll show you how to do a shopping list. All right, so what's a checklist? Why would a checklist be important? Well. Probably the best expression of this is this great book called The Checklist Manifesto that talks about how checklists have actually increased the uh, likelihood of somebody surviving an experience in an emergency room and how it totally transforms the effectiveness of hospitals. Now my brother is an F-18 pilot in the US Navy. They live and die by checklists. Well, what you're doing is probably not quite that dire, but you want to make sure that the quality of that is going to be very, very consistent. So you could set up a checklist for something as simple as a blog post, for example, and then set up a list of criteria for what would determine a success in writing a good blog post. Now you're probably starting to figure out here over time this is going to evolve into something that you can use to have as a repository of all of the quality control documentation for your entire organization in one place where you can share it with uh, other members of your organization. Right now, uh, it's something that you'll just use internally inside your own Simpleology account, but very, very soon, we're gonna be upgrading the functionality of that in some pretty profound ways. So as you can see here, we had some very, very simple things that we had uh, to express uh, you know, what a good blog post is. Um, obviously, you can customize this and change this in any way you see fit. You can drag and drop these items and reorder them. You can do, I mean, you really, you can do almost anything uh, with this, and it's very, very simple and easy to use. Now, let's go back here and let's take a look at a how-to or a plan list. Now, this may sound like it's something that, you know, how to make your book a number one bestseller. Really, can you write a plan for that uh, and express it accurately as a list? And I'm here to tell you, yes, you absolutely can. All right, so if you click on the display button, you'll notice here there are three different functions. There's the edit, display, and delete. If you click on display, you can see here that even something as, uh, well, I don't know, mystical as turning your book into a number one bestseller can be defined as a discrete number of quantifiable steps. You just have to understand what those steps are. So as you can see here, this is the obvious first thing that you want to do. You want to target an appropriate list, be it the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, the Amazon list, whatever it is. You learn the decision criteria of that list. Every one of those bestseller lists has a decision criteria. You have to understand what that formula is. Then you need to design an attack strategy for targeting sales according to that list criteria, and so on and so forth. Anything that is worth doing can be expressed as a discrete number of steps. Now. Here's what's really cool. You can drag and drop and reorder these things 
and on the right click menu you can do all sorts of cool stuff with this like you can move or copy these items to the dream catcher to the metal lock box to the metal lock box with a reminder to your delegation station let's just say you wanted to delegate one of these items to somebody boom you can do it right there and we're going to be adding a lot more really cool functionality to this as well but this is just to give you uh, a basic idea of what you can start doing with this really really cool and simple tool but let's go ahead and start uh, a new list together and this time we'll make a shopping list we'll call this groceries am I spelling this correctly groceries shopping and then save that's it you know so it's very very simple and easy to set up a brand new list now you notice here it says the number of items and the number of unchecked items so that you eventually will be able to sort through these things and find out hey of all the lists that I have you know which ones have unchecked items so we'll go ahead and we'll look at this here and let's just say uh, you know, we want to get uh, some, uh, you know, free range organic chicken because we're eating very healthy today. Maybe some uh, quinoa and maybe some kale. Very nice uh, paleo compliant <laughs> meal there. And obviously you could put anything you want on there. And if this is something that you wanted to, to get yourself, you know, maybe you could uh, move or copy this over to your dream catcher, right? Or maybe if you want somebody that you're living with to do it, you can click delegation station and then you can delegate this to them to go get for you. Really, really awesome, right? Because this way, uh, you know, you can do this with just a couple of clicks, create your list, send it out to all the people that are going to get it. And rather than, you know, bounce back and forth emails and talk and chit chat about it and have it be all confusing, there's really no confusion. You say, I want kale. <laughs> this person's going to do it. W whatever delegation method you use, boom, you delegate it and that's it. Okay, so that's all I want to show you today. There um, is a lot more that we're going to be doing with this feature and with the trackers feature over the uh, coming weeks. Just uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. But first, again, keep your eyes peeled for the upgrade email. We're going to be rolling that out to 10,000 Simpleology users at a time. When it's your turn, just click on the link. You'll log in. We'll upgrade your account to uh, add this new feature and to the uh, new code set, the Simpleology 3.7 code set that we're just rolling out, and you'll be able to start using this immediately. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I want you to go to simpleology.com slash blog, simpleology.com slash blog, and give me your feedback. All right, tell me what you think of the new feature. Tell me what kind of changes you would like to see. Tell me what kind of new features you would like to see us add. Your feedback is extremely important in shaping the way Simpleology evolves. We have a very, very clear upgrade path of things that we want to do, but that is largely determined and shaped and guided by your feedback. 